Assalamu alaikum, my dear student. I am Shahana Zaman, teacher, English medium, senior section. Today's class, I will discuss chapter 3. The name of the chapter, Safe and Ethical Use of Information and Communication Technology. And today's class, we will discuss lesson 19. Before starting the lesson, I want to show you some picture. I hope you are clear about the picture. Can you understand? Okay. Observe the picture and listen to story. One story, uh, it's held in 30th September 2012 in Bangladesh. You know, this Cox's Bajar area, there is some Buddhist temple that was destroyed by some of the emotional, religious minded people uh, because some of the people are giving some misinformation in the Facebook that some of the Buddhist people are burning holy Quran. And then and then, then and then, people are going for to action. And that time, three people were killed and fifteen was injured. Another story, it held in New York, and uh, that uh, situation fallen uh, go through by Citibank, and they lost their huge amount of credit card number, and it was held in two thousand eleven. I hope from the story and from the upper picture you are getting some idea. Yes, today's class we are going to discuss cyber crime and I hope all of you are listen this word several times and this familiar word we are using those you we are using network we are very much uh, familiar with this word. Yes, it is a type of crime where we are using technology, computer oriented technology and computer devices so let's see the definition the, it's a crime cyber crime is a computer oriented crime a crime that involves a computer may have been used in the commission of a crime or it may be the target cyber crime may threaten a person or a nation's security and financial health that means because of this crime person can be um, lose their person can be fall in problem nation can fall in security problem and there might be financial losses so it's a type of crime so those are doing this type of activities they are actually identified as criminal let's see the types of crime i'm showing here there is a, in our textbook they are described five types of traditional cyber crime there is pain there is threatening there is deceiving there is cyber battle there is disclosing objectionable information and we will discuss this type of crimes part by part let's see come in first one you see from the picture i think you are clear about the picture so you are clear that it is a spam Yes, it is pay mail. Sometimes you see under your inbox, that is mailbox, mail inbox, there is a folder spam. And there is many more unnecessary mail fill up the box. You see sometimes there is some of the advertisement, sometimes they are giving you oh, some of the prizes. So that are all these are unnecessary, pernicious, unwanted email that just junk your mailbox. And this word come from spam loop. Loon Canyon email spam have steadily grown up since the early 1990s that means in 1990s people start doing this type of crime this is a very beginning and in a, in a estimate in 2014 found that 90% of total email traffic held only for the spam mail that means people are intentionally sending you mail to disturb you to corrupt your system right <clears throat> so if you want to stop this one if you want to go for action you have to spend your time and money actually that is very much disturbing and it's like long time though so we don't have maximum we don't have much time to waste behind this so better don't go through this email don't open this email sometimes this type of um, spam mail spread the virus sometimes hackers are taking the advantages also Coming next point, it is deceiving. So what it is? There is some of the person in the in surrounding you 
also in the internet those are trying to take advantages they are giving you fake identity and they are uh, giving wrong information and try to create misunderstanding sometimes they are calling you and tell that you are winning a cars you may be winning a uh, huge amount of money you saw that is sometimes facebook social media also they are giving this type of advertisement right that you are writing here this word and you are going to get this one and this share with others so it's a type of deceiving so don't fall on this type of trap essential use your common sense use your rationality to prevent this coming next one it is disclosing objectionable information you see uh, from the figure you understand i hope that some of the people like to talk behind the people right talk behind the people and them sometimes by revelry um, by revenge for political gain or for business purpose they are spreading some of the objectionable information in the social media or internet that is totally unethical they should not do this one and it's uh, identified as a crime maximum time why they are doing for personal revenge political gain or uh, or try to disturb others try to harass organization that's why people are doing this one so we should be careful about this type of crime and our next type of cyber crime is threatening yes this is very normal nowadays though we are sitting behind the computer screen it is very easy to tell something isn't it students yes we can tell we can tell whatever we can like so do not don't do this we are using the network we should use the advantages of the network we should not use we should not make we should not be corrupt and should not be disturb other okay though you are not face to face so don't tell something others it is very simple whenever you are sitting behind the computer but when you are face to face it is little difficult so don't do this with anybody anybody and we should be careful about our behavior you know whenever we are using network we should go through the behavior manner behavior hope you are clear threatening now come in cyber crime yes from the figure you can understand what what it is that two computer and there is will like tank right and another one you say that uh, people are coming out from the computer screen actually this is the virtual world cyber world is a virtual world where people are not doing anything face to face and cyber battle is a type of crime where a group of people engage in this type of crime and you know i want to tell you one information here about hacker though it is cyber battle then i need to tell you about hacker so in the case in the ranking world ranking bangladeshi hackers position is seventh then india that means our hackers are more powerful than others and i hope you know about the hackers we learned it that hackers are three types black hacker white hacker and gray hat hacker okay coming point so all the hackers are not bad some of the people are bad and some of the people are doing for work for good ethical ethics so you see what it is the personal conflict among people can take a crucial turn a group or community or a country being organized can procure a battle against other group community or country you see here other group community or country that means you might have different opinion but we should not create a battle for that it happened against political parties of different ideology or ideal and thus the cyber rules are violated obviously if they are described there is also rules against the crime we'll see the rules what are the penalty also here so i hope you are clear about cyber battle now come in the what are the penalties or punishment you see almost all the country punishments are same because they are following some international rules penalties but we are writing here you see that hacking computer and changing source code fine or jail sentence for 1 to 10 years that means if you are hack some of the 
some of computer organizations computer personal computer or if you change the source course you have to go for fine and it's depend on your working activities it is one to ten years then second offense can get up to 20 years in prison that means if you change source code you know uk leaks julius Assange, who have hacked the british website and he is arrested from switzerland and we don't know where he is still now so that means he gets some punishment the world don't know why he is the he is the very much famous people that time so say hacking government information system up to 10 years and high fines obviously whoever go government against government information he have to give fine and nowadays bangladesh also go through the rules punishment of cyber crime and actually all these are same and you know nowadays that is the corona situation if someone tried to spread anything unnecessary anything violent here governments go through it rules you know you see the news and you know the update also so overall we have discussed cyber crimes and what are the rules of the crimes and i hope the lesson you were clear students one important thing you are student of class 8 whenever you are writing answer you should be more conscious you should be more technical must write introduction and conclusion and then between this whenever you are writing answer main points write the important points write the main logical things don't write anything unnecessary you will not get less mark you will not get mark you will get very less mark okay so if you though you will give jsc you should be most more conscious about your question and question answer you say i gave here some question number one what is cyber crime how cyber crime create different social problem number two describe different traditional types of cyber crime number three write short notes on different types of cyber crime so you will learn all this question answer very clearly and you'll write your copies this is the time you are staying in your home so you get time to learn answer properly so all together to discuss we learn what is cyber crime we we'll listen some of the story we have uh, listened about different type of cyber crime and also the penalties and get some rq so if you have any problem you will discuss later on still then allah hafiz Thank you so very much for staying with us.